I'm a relatively new blood donor. To my shame, considering that you know I'm a police officer and I've been to many a collision where you can see that there is an obvious need for uh, donating blood. I guess you can lump me into many of those out there that, oh geez, I hate needles and whatnot, but um, having gone through it, I'm happy to report it's a painless experience. I guess you just take for granted some of the great places that are here to service all of us and that would start with the Canadian Blood Services. There's uh, just a lot of agencies that you yeah, had hoped that you would never as a, as a family have to draw upon. My name is Daryl Holmes. I'm a resident of Russell. I'm married to Diana. I have two boys. Matthew is my younger boy. He's 12. I have an older son, Patrick. He just turned 18. In August of 2011, uh, my son Matthew, who was eight at the time, was diagnosed with um, acute myeloid leukemia. Prior to that day in August, we were a happy, healthy family as far as we knew. There was nothing to indicate any sort of uh, situation that might evolve into, uh, you know, your eight-year-old child being diagnosed with cancer. So we were blindsided. We had found out that Matthew uh, needed a bone marrow transplant in order to, to survive this disease. Um, that was the only thing that would uh, uh, work for him. Over the course of his uh, hospitalization, he's had well over 100 blood products. And uh, these products saved his life. During the time that we were dealing with that as a family, some of my work colleagues um, um, wanted to do something. They acted on that, and as a group, they started to go in and donate. Everybody that walks in the door realizes that they're there for a good purpose, and uh, once you've provided your donation and you walk out that door, you really should feel good about yourself, because uh, what you've done today uh, really does matter. It's the ultimate feeling of altruism. It's a jovial experience uh, when you go in there. I mean, there's a competitive nature to it. Uh, make sure when you go in, um, make sure that you drink lots of water ahead of time. And obviously the, the reasoning behind that is that just the, the blood will flow that much easier. So I remember our guys having quite a competition. Uh, oh, mine only took five minutes. and. Mine was six and whatnot. As well as uh, obviously getting crucial blood products out to our hospitals. It's an incredibly motivating team building type concept uh, for any workplace. People are, are genuinely happy to be a part of this effort and um, it, um, it inspires good teamwork and that is that pays off obviously more so than just providing uh, a blood donation. So it's good that way, and uh, and of course uh, we're always uh, we're always good for free cookies after and juice. So. It's an easy uh, experience that leaves you feeling really good about what you've done. Um, it takes about maybe an hour out of your day. And I guess uh, the one thing I'd like to underline about the experience of giving blood is that it has a direct impact to somebody and you are actually saving a life. We're blessed that Matthew uh, survived his ordeal. 
At one point in his journey, uh, he, he relapsed and the cancer came back. He had to uh, get another uh, bone marrow transplant. In all, he received three, which is very rare. But um, we were told the facts about where Matthew stood in his uh, chances of survival. And they told us that he had less than 5% chance to survive. Now I raise that um, be, obviously because we're just so blessed that Matthew uh, survived his ordeal, but our eyes were open to the other sad reality that there are many kids and people who did not survive their journey. And um, you know, it's just a very sobering thing that, that really um, it's, it's hard to talk about, it's hard to imagine that this happens in our city, and, uh, but it does. They were not able to find a match. We need to try and get the message out there to the community that uh, this is something that we need to educate people about, about how painless it is to become or get on the bone marrow stem cell registry. It's a simple swab of your mouth and you're on. So this, uh, along with giving blood, is uh, yet another responsibility of the Canadian Blood Services. And uh, uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, I will do whatever I can uh, to get that message out. Um, there's a need, there's a need out there.